Mr. Kennedy. And he has a lot to say to everyone out there watching. He's going to be on Wrestling with Savage. Stop yelling so much. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? I'm excited for you. <laughs> You're watching this. This is Mr. Kennedy taking a chop from Savage. He just gave me a nice stiff one. Nice stiff one. Oh. Sally. So I appreciate you, brother. You're watching Wrestling with Savage, the best late night wrestling show in the world. <laughs> I say you are listening to Wrestling with Savage, the best podcast in the history of podcasts. Teddy Green, one, two, three, five, say you live by the champ. A last ride straight to hell, a tombstone, a choke slam. Here they give it to you raw. This is Wrestling with Savage, smack down. Hold the title, this is Wrestling with Savage, raw. Because they are the best tag team in the world. Tag team. Be my honor to be a guest on your show. Christmas bully right good job, Savage. It's the best hand in pro wrestling. Get that fucking raw man yet. Raw fuck. It's MDK and wrestle with Savage all fucking day. Oh, okay. What we got over here? Well, what do we got over here? Have your cake and eat it too. Look at anything. Uh, I don't know. I think that she thinks for you. Don't know. 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 Don't Check that Saturday night. Let's talk about Friday night. Friday night. The NWA. And Friday night, we in the ladder war, baby. The match that was made for us. <laughs> Gorillas! Bullet Club. Yeah. Hey. We came in to this decade with these, and we damn sure plan on leaving this decade with these. Remix. Happy anniversary day, everybody. It's a beautiful day. And I don't know about y'all, but my plans for the day include cutting this grass and whoop. We gonna whoop each other's ass on the floor and now there until we start back at the bottom. There's rules to this shit. I wrote me a manual. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Wrestling with Savage. It's going to be a tribute. Jay Briscoe, Jermaine Pug, uh, better known by his ring name, Jay Briscoe, was an American professional wrestler of a husband, a father, a brother, a son, a friend, a worker. He was best known for his work with Mark Briscoe as the Briscoe brothers in Ring of Honor with a duo becoming Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Champions and a record-breaking 13-time Ring of Honor tag team champions and he was also a two-time ring of honor world champion so he's no stranger to gold briscoe has had a career that i need to catch up on to be honest with you and i started doing that this weekend i'm gonna go ahead and bring anthony into the stream now he's joined us what's going on anthony how you doing brother appreciate you I'm being all right here. Um, i'm all right just you know a little tired a little tired all right today. What's going on, Ryan? How you doing, brother? We're going to be talking about Mr. Briscoe today, Jameen Pug. 
the memory of him. Rest in peace. We started off the stream with the 10 bell salute. And uh, Anthony, I, you know, I, I put together a, a lot of things. And what I want to do first before anything, so we can just get this information out there right away. This is the one and only official page where you can go and donate to the family of Jay Briscoe. And you should go do that if you can. They've uh, already raised $281,000. Uh, and I'm sure it's going to be even more by the end of the week, end of the month. Because they're going to need a lot of support the rest of their lives. This is uh, unforeseen tragedy. Uh, if, if you haven't, if you've been living under a rock, uh, it's been mainstream news. They've been talking about it. You, you know, here it is. The, you see the parents hugging right there. Uh, Dalton Castle. That's the mother, Jenna Pug. These guys had a hell of a career, and we're going to be breaking down that career. Uh, Dalton Castle even had something to say in this interview talking about how, uh, you know, there's going to be a hole in wrestling now that he thinks no one's even going to be able to fill anymore. And uh, I can agree with that. And again, that link is, all right, I'm going to put it in the chat, and it's also in the comments. So later on, if you watch this video anytime from now on, from here till the rest of the time, the link is at the bottom of this video. You can go there anytime and you can donate. But with no further ado, let's get into the you know the life of Jay Briscoe. And uh, there's a lot to talk about. First and foremost, let's talk about the fact that he was a family man. He had three kids. Uh, his wife, uh, there was some good news on the other day saying that one of the daughters recovered uh, feeling in her leg again. So, I mean, I'm very happy to hear that. I, I give them nothing but my love and prayers and hope everybody has a full recovery and uh, like i said if you can help you should help um just unforeseen tragedy man and i put up the website it's in the description as i mentioned earlier but as you see here i mean these guys did a lot of stuff in professional wrestling it's not like they just came out of nowhere uh they've been doing this a long time mark and jay briscoe all the way up to 20 years ago you know uh have, did you ever see anthony their first title win no, I didn't find out about them until shit. Until I started figuring out, like, you know, House of Glory, because they were on House of Glory a lot, and <clears throat> I watched a lot of some of the matches. And these guys put on five star matches with anybody that they're in the ring with. I mean, I'm not going to go too much into their family to respect their privacy, but this is the full family between the brothers. They were definitely family men first. Uh, and it's sad. I'm just really, I, but me, honestly, I'm most upset about the fact that I missed out on this guy's career for the, you know, when he was around. I didn't get to meet him uh, to the point where I could get an autograph. I've seen him before, but he was always with a lot of fans and always taking care of fans. <clears throat> you know, he was very cool, uh, always willing to, to spend time with a fan, drink a beer with a fan, talk a story with a fan. Uh, I've never heard one bad thing ever said about this man, ever, in the 20 years that he's been around, even though I've only known about him for probably... 10 years and then the last two years i've really you know started to take notice and say i gotta start watching the matches anthony i actually uh <clears throat> i actually did see them last year at a uh, gcw in manhattan nice. live i got tell I, us about I, that oh my god watching those guys wrestle i mean it's a five minute match but what, what those guys did in five ma in five minutes with nick gage was just Pure art. That's awesome that they were wrestling Nick Gage. Uh, how'd the match turn out? What, what, was it like a triple threat match? Was it a one-on-one? -on -one? What are we no, talking about was, here? It was a tag team. It was a tag team match. It was, I, I think, I forgot who the other guy was that was his tag team partner, was Nick Gage's tag team partner, but I got to watch that match and I got to like <clears throat> see them like outside and Spoke to them for a bit. Nice guys. Fantastic wrestlers. Yeah. No, I, I, listen, from the matches that I've been watching over the last few years, especially this last week, ever since the news broke that he passed away in a car accident, um, I've, I've been watching a lot of clips, a lot of videos, a lot of YouTube matches. As a matter of fact, I'm going to play one now. I hope I don't get in trouble for it. It's a small clip. It's not the full match. But this is their actual first title win, Anthony. So, you know, hopefully you enjoy it too. Let's take a look at how they look when they were really young. Just getting into the game. Hey, 
can't cut off Izzy. Marks springboards in with an ace crusher. Wow, beautifully executed there. And they have Izzy up. Uh oh. Oh no. Nice anticipation there by Izzy. And what's he following up with, Chris? Oh, did you see the momentum he had going into that stout? Slice bread number two. He didn't even need to climb the ropes like Spanky did. Cover. Oh, no. Broken up there. He would have had him, Chris. Izzy and Dixie would have been successful in their tag match right here. I think you're 100% right about that. Izzy, very impressive. He had so much momentum on that slice bread number two. But right now, he's at the mercy of both Briscoes. And what's this? What are they setting up for? This, this cannot bode well for Izzy as Jay is scaling to the top rope. Hold on. I saw this in the 80s. This is one out of the Midnight Express playbook. The Vegematic. Devastating. Automatic that slices and dices, and Izzy's in a whole hell of a lot of trouble. Paul Turner right on top of it to make the count. He knew what was going on. Good call by Turner. There's the doomsday device. That's it. That's got to be it. Mark dives to the floor. Take that special K. J Driller. And that's it. That's the first time they ever won a championship. And Anthony, if you were watching that, man, I mean, what a... What a freaking doomsday device out of yeah. the springboard. And then, you know, perfect tag team work, uh, you, you know, going out, taking out the other guy, making sure you hit a nice finisher, pile driver, and then just take it home for the win. That was impressive. Uh, these boys were real farmer boys. And, you know, they're from Salisbury, Maryland, USA, uh, working the farm. Ah, man. Dude was 6'1", 233 pounds make sure you follow him also i'm going to throw that up here real quick he has twitter uh jay briscoe 84 them boys this was actually the last picture that they took together uh you got you know there's a lot of content on here if you want to get to know more about this man obviously we got some screenshots from here as well but yeah go follow him on twitter uh and you can also go pick up his merch you know to really show support uh, i'm sure some of these proceeds will be going to the family uh if you want to do maybe you want to email them before and just verify if not maybe check the briscoes out in a couple of weeks and see if they put up their own official merch because i want all the proceeds to go to them they have some nice shirts uh you know or you know if you just want to you know rock it and then still donate you can do that too maybe you just want to rock the shirt right now to represent them boys briscoes for life a lot of people loved the briscoes all over the world they had respect all over the world uh big time respect all over the world everywhere they went they won gold it's it's a shame that they weren't be a weren't able to be utilized in the wwe uh, they would have fit right into the attitude era they would have took over the attitude era <clears throat> they probably would have killed the dudley boys and anybody else that got in their way because they were 100 percent attitude i always enjoyed watching their videos and their promos over the years even though i wasn't watching all the matches you know up to 10 years ago but i was always listening to the promos and i knew they could go as far as the promos go and then of course you see the clips you see the highlights <clears throat> Uh, they've been in the ring with legends. They've beat legends, and they've represented b the business very well, in my opinion. Now, they're real men, real wrestlers, and they don't take shit from anyone. And they make sure that you know about it, Anthony. I'm sure if you know anything about the Briscoes, you know they didn't take shit from anyone, man. Uh, Mick Thomason over here thinks they're the greatest tag team of all time. And you know what? I can't even argue with you after watching some of their body of work. <clears throat> I still have to go through like 10 years of, of stuff, but I'm going to get there eventually. I will get there eventually. And there's, um, there's also like a little article that I read today. And I kind of thought it was kind of stupid. So Wednesday night, when, when we were talking about, the sh when we were talking about Dynamite, we had, you know, we, we all had mentioned that we thought we were going to see something more. That, that unfortunately, was not on Tony Khan then. Yeah, no, that's old news by now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let, <clears throat> we can remind everybody. Yeah, that was because of Warner Brothers. They had a ban on yeah. uh, Jay Briscoe, unfortunately, that he couldn't be on certain TV shows, if not any TV shows, uh, which is stupid on their part. And over, over, over a comment that was made, like, 13 years ago. And I don't know every... exactly when the comment <clears throat> was made. Uh, I know I know the comment you're referring to, and honestly, I'm not even going to bring it up. 
because it's not even important. Jay Briscoe's no, I, dead, so you can't but, even get mad at a guy that's dead. But he passed here's away. The, thing, though. <clears throat> the outpouring when that con- after Jay came out and apologized, the the outpouring of the wrestlers that were gay were incredible, and they were talking talking about him in such a positive light. And, yeah, absolutely. And yeah, because me, they love everybody. Loved them. Look at these guys, man. New GCW champs. They've been. They, they've worked everywhere. I'm gonna go over the list of promotions. I'm gonna go over the list of titles they've won. Uh, you know, this guy was known for his J Driller, the Avalanche Death Valley Driver, the Three Quarter Nelson Suplex, the Cannonball Senton, and the Running Big Boot made everything look real. All the shots look real. And like I said, they're vets in this business. They've been doing this a long time. Mm-hmm. Gold everywhere they've gone, man. A lot of work in GCW, I can't mention. That was the show you went to right there, Hammerstein. That was the show. Who else was on the card that night? Mox and Homicide. Oh, my, I knew saw Mox that night. Wow, you were, you were probably having a great old time, man. Great yeah, old time. Uh, you were loving it. Ru- Ruby Riot and Ali. I don't remember her last name. I can't remember. Uh, there was a Battle Royal, which was horrible I don't Spots know okay but the, you saw the Briscoes though so I'm I'm, yeah. I'm happy for you that you at least got to see them perform <clears throat> one full match I never got to see one full match of them live which is gonna bother me for the rest of my life and the fact that I don't you know where are their figures where are the Briscoe action figures I want to see them they're probably gonna come out non-stop now you know I, I that was actually the first. Them up. That was that was actually the first time I've ever even heard of them. Actually, at the Hammerstein nev- Ballroom, I never heard heard of them until the Manhattan Center. No, I I knew what they were doing. I, I knew what they were doing in uh, Ring of Honor. I had always known what was going on in Ring of Honor, and uh, I, I kept tabs on them, but I I didn't watch a lot of the matches until like the last two years because of the traction they were getting in the matches they were having in the caliber they were in their prime right now i mean in his absolute prime they were killing the yeah. business making money making friends going all over the world traveling putting on bangers that people were talking about and people that are gonna, people are going to be talking about a lot of these matches for like the rest of their lives i was watching the one match earlier today with mm-hmm. uh, kevin steen and generico versus the briscoes what a what a crazy banger of a match that was! I mean, to just see uh, old school Sami Zayn uh, running wild, and then the Briscoes being able to just you know have instant chemistry with Kevin and and Sammy. it was that's magical match, man. Especially now with how famous everybody is, you, you want to go back and watch that match. But these guys worked for everybody, man. You see them back there with Samoa Joe, man. When Samoa Joe was like a baby in this business, and like you said, people the outpouring of love. Uh, from the different communities, especially the wrestling community, the last you know cu- last week, we've seen nothing but love from the whole world. People telling stories that we never heard before. Guys like Seth Rollins even saying, "If it wasn't for you know this man, I, I don't even know that Seth Rollins would exist." You know, yeah. think about that statement. I mean, <clears throat> the, the impact these guys have had, even without ever walking into the WWE uh, live on Raw or SmackDown one time. Look at the impact they've had on that company over the years. How many people have they inspired? How many people have been watching them? I have a funny feeling, though, that that these guys were definitely the Briscoes wanted to be, Tony Khan wanted these guys on TV. I'm sure he did, but he couldn't get them because he was on the wrong network, man. He probably didn't know that they were banned on TV until, like, after the fact that he already made the deal with Warner Brothers. Yeah, these guys should have been on national television. They were that good. And like I said, in the Attitude Era, what's up, Jake, the Tribal Chief, and Mick Thomas, and whoever's still here watching us, uh, hopefully we can get some more people in here because Briscoe deserves the love, man. I'm getting into his career. I'm showing you guys pictures. We're going to be talking about the man that was from Salisbury, Maryland. He was a singles wrestler, a tag team wrestler, a world champion, a tag team champion, in your experience, 22 years, known as a brawler, trained by Eddie (laughs) Valentin, Glenn Osborne, and Jim Kettner. I mean, this guy did it all. And when I say did it all, started his career in the year 2000, all right? Started it off at East Coast Wrestling Association. Then he moved on to the Pennsylvania Championship Wrestling. Then he was all over Combat Zone Wrestling. 
My man moved to Jersey all pro wrestling. This is in 2001 now. Then he started Impact Championship Wrestling in 2001. 2001, man. Maryland Championship Wrestling, 2000. Big Japan Pro Wrestling in 2002. He said, let me, just, let me stop wrestling over here. I've been wrestling in America now two years. Let me just go to Japan and try my luck. He had five matches there. Then he went to the National Wrestling Alliance. Wild Side had four matches there. All right? He had another four matches with another National Wrestling Alliance. Total non-stop action, the, but the NWA version of it, like one of the schools that they build up, I guess. Three matches there. Jersey All-Pro Wrestling, three matches. Back to Maryland, back to Combat Zone. This guy was having a lot of matches. I mean, they, 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 let me just give you a rundown of his 2022. Look at the, all the companies worked for in 2022, and that wasn't even his busiest year. Game Changer Wrestling, Impact, House of Glory, National Wrestling, NWA. Ring of Honor, Big Time Wrestling, Warrior Wrestling, WrestleCade Entertainment, Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, Wrestling in the USA Freelance Shows, and then Northeast Wrestling. That was all the companies he worked for in 2022. He's also been in Mexico, wrestling in Mexico. He did a couple of freelance shows there. Dude's been all over the world. I mean, I have, I, I, I'm looking here at the, we'll get to that screenshot later. You're going to see it. I'm going to show it, but just know, this was a cool dude. Every time I saw a video of him cutting a promo, I believed it. Am I wrong, Anthony? Did you watch a lot of his promos over the last year? Oh, or yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Every, throughout the last year, uh, I was I would watch, I would be scrolling through Instagram, and I would be seeing him, like seeing the promos that they make. Both of them are just such fire when it comes to their promos. Yeah, I agree. I, and Mick, my, my favorite match of them personally has to be the last match they had with the Briscoes. And that, I know that wasn't the last match. The last match they had was actually against Main Event, which was a team that I saw in Brooklyn, and they were terrific. So I'm so happy the Main Event got to have that that memory, that moment, uh, that last match with the Briscoes. I love the, uh, I love the, tri the, the trilogy with FTR. Yeah, the whole trilogy, but the last match between FTR, the one with the, the, the you know, the dog collar. The dog man, collar, yeah. Th that was on another level, man. They were killing it. They were killing it. But look at these guys. Northeast Wrestling, like I said, man, we got the screenshots. We're going to share them with you so you guys can go through the career and see what was going on there. They were all over the New York East Coast area there. And, you know, January 22nd, they went up to Poughkeepsie. Here they are again, man. Look, they're beating up legends right there. I'm going to take down your comments so you can see who that is, you know. That's old school wrestling right there. If you don't know who that oh is. Oh, my God. Anthony, you know who that is? Yeah, Rock and Roll Express. Yes, sir. If you don't know who they are, guys, make sure you look them up, man. They're one of the best tag teams of all time. So the Briscoes have been in there. A lot of people. Did they ever face the Dudley boys? Uh, I think they did a long time ago. And uh, I believe it was Impact when Dudley's first came. Or, or no, no, Ring of Honor. I think it was Ring of Honor. I think the Dudleys had a run in Ring of Honor. We're, we can look it up. We can find out. They have a lot of history, and I've been doing research all day, but I tried to focus on the beginning and the end of their careers so I could really see where they started and you know where they were. This is a match I, I want to go back and see. Look at this match. Lucha Brothers versus Briscoe Brothers. Oh. Could you imagine how good that match is? I think I'm going to do that right after this stream ends. I'm, I'm going to go watch that match. Yeah, same here. And I, I'm going to sit back and enjoy some professional wrestling, man. Look at this. They even had a match with the Good Brothers. That was on M Impact. Multiverse of matches. Look at them. Winning tournaments everywhere. They're winning gold. Winning tournaments, man. These guys were legit champions. Legit studs in the world of wrestling. Superstars. Absolute superstars. Uh, you know, they had their last match. Let's see. This is their first match. I think that's their first match. I know their last match was uh, against main event, man. I'm going to have to look that up, Mick. I'm going to have to look through a list. I got a list over here. We're going to go through all of it right now. There's more to talk about. I mean, this is what Anthony was talking about, the trilogy between FTR. I mean, they had three matches in the year of 2022. And wow. every one of them, every one of them was a banger. Every one of them was a banger, but the last one was just a little special to me. 
I loved it, especially with the year we had and, you know, to end the year with that match. And it, for me, that was tag team match of the year. And it's arguable for match of the year. It's arguable for match of the year. It was that damn good. And they, they're not from WWE. They actually, those two teams never faced each other. What two teams? The, Dudley Dudley Boys Boys? And the Briscoes and the Briscoes. They never I think all anybody. right. So what I think is because I heard Bully Ray talking about it. Bully Ray said I think when he got there he he tried to work with him and, and maybe yeah. it didn't work out. He yeah. said that that was the first name he said when he got there, but I guess it never panned out. It never happened, unfortunately. Right. Yeah. That sucks. That sucks, man. Did you see any of my videos uh uh from the weekend? No, not yet. Would you like to watch one? I mean, we take a little break, show everybody a video right now? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. was uh my weekend over there i don't know why i keep doing that one i'm so sorry guys that was my weekend <laughs> over there we're gonna get back to jay briscoe and yes rest in peace jay briscoe uh in the video section you can go check the details if you want to donate any money to the family uh the link is in the bottom what'd you think of that video Ant? i liked i actually saw the one when you uh tried to do the elbow drop in the, in the ring and right in front of the greco elbow drop i didn't do an elbow drop i wish i did i wanted to do an elbow drop and i was actually thinking about doing the elbow drop to be honest with you but i thought it over quickly in the ring because when you're in the ring you don't have a lot of time and jakey bakey it is absolutely incredibly tragic and we're going to get right back to jay briscoe but i gotta i gotta do something here mm -mm. because anthony said i did an elbow drop i didn't do an elbow it looked drop. like it. I, I don't know what happened this is what it was and let me know if you can hear it can you hear the audio? Yeah. I was I no. Okay. Now, now, as you can see, that was definitely no elbow drop. That was a leg drop, and I have to add, good form leg for drop. someone that hasn't given a leg drop in a long time, probably over 15 years. But um, I could have got a little higher, but I didn't want to kill myself. But it did feel good. It was great, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk I... about real quick uh, what we're going to be doing here on Wrestling with Savage, uh, which is. Live play-by-play -play for the Royal Rumble this Saturday. Uh, so if you want to hear good commentary, if you want to enjoy the Royal Rumble and listen to some savage commentary, I will be doing it. I will be breaking it down. I will be... I'll be killing it, man. I'll be killing it. I promise you this is going to be the best live play-by-play -play that I've ever done in my life because I haven't been this excited for a pay-per-view in a very long time. And I appreciate you all coming in right now. And I hope you guys are all here with me on Saturday when I promise you I bring you the best live play-by-play -play commentary that the Royal Rumble can provide to you. Also, the man you saw in the video, Alpha Anoa Jr. That man is gonna be here live. 
All right. Uh, he's going to be here on Thursday. We're going to be going over a lot of things. We're going to be talking about his career. We're going to be talking about, and just real quick so you know who I'm talking about. That is Alpha Noi right there, Junior. All right. The son of Alpha, uh, legend. He'll be here on the show on Thursday. So make sure you don't miss that. It's going to be a hell of an interview. And he's bringing a lot of people with him to the show. He's bringing Snitsky. He's bringing uh, Vinny. He's bringing the guy that's taking on. I believe it's Phil Insane. He's going to be taking on Tommy Dreamer. And he's bringing on other talent, too. I, you know, He might surprise me and bring even more people on. He gave me a list. I have the list on the side. I have his stream prepared. I'm very excited to talk to a real member of the Samoan dynasty. I mean, this guy's cousins with Roman Reigns, with Yokozuna, uh, you know, distant cousins with The Rock. But what a life. Imagine, Anthony, you're growing up around Yokozuna, the wild Samoans, who, by the way, are 21 tag team, 21 time tag team champions. I just wanted to bring that up Jeez. so you guys understand what, what the wild Samoans were, who this guy's dad was, and now what he does. He has. Battlefield Pro Wrestling and their show Evil Intense coming up next Sunday. Ne yeah, next Sunday, uh, the day after the Rumble. And uh, we're going to be breaking it down here on Thursday. We're going to be talking about the Samoan Dynasty. We're going to be talking about Alpha and his father. And uh, yeah, wrestling in general. We're going to have a good time on Thursday. Thursday's going to be a good time. I promise you that. It'll be here on Thursday. Make sure you guys watch. Hit the notification button. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this shit. We're going to be talking with a real life member of the bloodline a real member of the usi package i mean this guy is the real deal in the ring outside of the ring and he's doing the right things now training people getting them ready to have incredible careers he's pumping out stars is what he's doing and he he still is a star himself and uh, i can't wait to tell him that on thursday also we're going to be covering aew on wednesday we'll be doing nxt as usual on tuesday and of course, Monday is 30 years of Raw, and we'll be, you know, we'll be here as usual for Monday Night Raw. Now let's get back to Mr. Briscoe here. Briscoe Brothers, hell of a tag team. Uh, I, I thank them for all the content that they have given wrestling fans uh, for the rest of our lives. They have a huge archive, and uh, Mick, I, I, yeah, maybe one day we can make that happen. I'd like to have Rosemary <clears throat> on this show, as I'm sure Anthony would as well, Anthony. Briscoe Brothers, man. I, so much content to go through, man. So many matches to talk about. So many championships to watch them gain. It's just, it's it's insane that we're never going to see it. There's the match <laughs> I was talking about. That's their last match to the left, Anthony, versus main event. And I saw a main event at Brooklyn the night that I met Bret Hart and met FTR. And uh, was, was FTR wrestling that night? Yeah, yeah. They wrestled SAT. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that Mac had to be a banger. Yeah, absolute banger. Absolute banger. But the main event was crazy too, man. Uh I'm, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss being able to have hopes that I would see them on AEW down the road or WWE mm -mm. or something. Maybe back to New Japan. Well, well well maybe the you know, um the other Briscoe brother I, I I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. Mark, Mark Briscoe. Mark. Mark, who knows what Mark's going to do. You know, maybe he'll do a solo run. Uh, yeah, no, I think he is going to do a solo run. I think he's uh, going to go nuts and, and uh, maybe take over Ring of Honor, maybe take over TNA Impact, and maybe even take over AEW, man, because maybe mm -hmm. he's not banned from Warner Brothers. No, he's not. So maybe <laughs> we'll see him. I mean, I, I, I think it was too soon, obviously, for him to do anything right now. But I think in time, I think you're right. I think we will see Mark Briscoe uh, in a lot of different companies doing a lot of different things over the next 20 years. I'm sure. Look at that chair shot. I mean, his head went through the damn thing. Could have cut his neck open right there. This guy's had some wild matches. You know, they always, <laughs> they didn't have a problem getting busted open. I'll tell you that, man. Having some nice whiskey right there, I'm sure. And, you know, the most important thing to remember about the Briscoe brothers, Jay Briscoe, uh, the respect they had garnered throughout the wrestling world during their tenure is something to be envious of. Not many people can go 20 years and have no one say a bad thing about you. I mean... Mm -mm. 
uh, like I said, the wrestling world, they, they poured their hearts out. They let everybody know what they thought. The whole world's going to miss this guy, man. And he's going to be more missed now than ever when so many new people that, you know, weren't exposed to him find out, hey, I can go watch his matches now on the Ring of Honor catalog. I can go watch his matches on this catalog, whatever. And they're going to go. They're going to watch the matches because eventually wrestling's going to get to a level of staleness again, Anthony. Just like right now, you're getting stale with me. Mm-hmm. Yawning over no, here. I'm Got good. Anthony ready to pass out. By the way, Anthony's going to do his first show on Friday. Uh... We're gonna we're gonna help him out and make sure he gets all set up and ready to go live Friday night. Uh, I have no idea what's gonna happen on SmackDown. I probably won't even watch it. Uh, maybe maybe I'll just jump in your stream for five minutes just to fuck with you <clears> and then I'll leave. But uh, other than that, of course, you know. Yeah, maybe. I, I, don't be know. A, you know, well. I might have to watch it. I, I'm curious to see what your breakdown's gonna be, or are you gonna are you gonna do play by play? Are you gonna just break down the matches? Or, or what are you going to do for two hours? I don't know. It's not easy, Ant. No, I, I, I'm, I know it's not. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm curious. I want to see what I want to see what Anthony's going to do. Do you have a game plan? Uh, I don't want to discuss it on stream. I want people to like, I want people to, to tune in. Copy that. We'll watch we're, it. we're trying to get them tuned in. We're going to see what <laughs> Anthony has in store for everybody on, uh, on Friday. But yeah, back to Jay Briscoe. Like I said, the world showed how they feel about all this uh you can see them and ftr uh, enjoying some drinks together uh, ftr had nothing but nice things to say obviously they're they're like still mourning they love these guys and you know just like you and me i love the matches uh, it's a damn shame that you know mm-hmm. triple h uh couldn't get something going to get him to be on tv and work but i do give uh you know wwe a lot of credit for even mentioning in the news immediately as it happened and an nxt live uh, it was nice to see that acknowledgement. And even on SmackDown. And on SmackDown, on SmackDown, absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, we didn't get the you 10 know. bill salute or nothing, but we got the acknowledgement, which is something that, you know, that rarely ever happens. And Tony Khan, uh, I kind of feel bad for Tony Khan because I think he wanted to do much more than what was done, and he couldn't. He was handcuffed by, you know, corporate bullshit and, and rules and contracts and this and that. Mm-mm. So, you know. But he's yeah. doing a lot right now to uh, do a tribute to Jay Briscoe. There's going to be free shows that's going to be offered on the, I believe, Ring of Honor app. Uh, they're going to be doing multiple tribute shows. So this isn't the end of the tribute show and the tribute run for Jay Briscoe. It's just beginning. And there will be many, many tributes. Uh, look at that Hall of Fame class right there, Ant. What a, oh, oh. Look at that class. you got Punk, Joe, Brian, and the Briscoe brothers. I mean, that is... That's a leak company if I've ever seen it, man. Yeah. That's a leak company if I've <clears> ever <throat> seen it. Uh, that That's actually crazy to even look at. I'm going to go a little full screen now because we've got a couple of more slides left before we get to uh, the breakdown of the statistics and the careers and the matches and the titles. Look at that shot. These guys had bangers, man. That was their promo for, you know, that last match or no this was the second match and then i believe oh. yeah that was the second match didn't they win the titles from fdr yeah the last match it? this this is the promo for the last match the, the, the double dog collar match i'll check that out mick thomas and i appreciate that but this was the last promo for the last match between ftr and the briscoes the double dog collar match absolute hell of a fucking banger uh one of the best matches i've ever seen in my life let alone tag team match of the year last year no doubt about it and it's arguable for match of the year and it's arguable for match of the decade too anthony in my opinion someone could say that like that that's possibly the best tag team match we may have ever seen on a television screen no ever ever i actually i couldn't watch the ring of honor pay-per-view but i went back and watched it and jesus christ this this thing that these guys did to each other in that ring where i mean look insane. at that look at that screenshot man i mean that's the end of the match all showing respect and love uh that match made me so excited it bring me back to like a older time of my wrestling fandom where when i was just really locked in and focused on the match at hand and here we go man let's get down to the uh the title wins man two cw tag team champion czw tag team champion two times fip tag team champion GCW Tag Team Champion three times, GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, 
House of Glory Tag Team Champion, Impact World Tag Team Champion, IWGP Tag Team Champion, Never Open Weight Six Man Tag Team Championship twice, NWA Wild Side Tag Team Champion, PWA Tag Team Champion, RCW Tag Team Champion, Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Champion, then USA, and that was 13 time Ring of Honor, 13 time Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. They basically own that company. They own that company. Yeah. Go and and but it also goes to show the uh the amount of respect that that company had for him. And yeah. well had 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 for the Briscoes. Look at these title reigns. It's not like they had short title reigns, you know, they had some that were two hundred and eighty one days, hundred and forty five, two hundred and nineteen, two hundred ten. Look at this. Oh here three hundred and ninety one, two hundred and seventy five. 217 i mean they had title runs man there was there was there was one that had um they were 14 they had over, they had a title for over 1400 days look at those stats eh? <clears throat> i mean that that is fantastic stats for a wrestler if you go look up a lot of wrestlers a lot of them have like like you know a lot of losses compared to wins not everybody can have stats like a stone cold or whatever he's he's up there with some of the legends as far as win percentage goes you know he's won 55.7 <laughs> of his matches he's had he's been in the ring over 944 times you know i have a funny <clears throat> i don't know for, for some reason i had a, i had this funny feeling in the in my gut that these that these guys were gonna that triple h was gonna bring those guys in you never know man but like i said earlier remember i was going yeah. over a list of all the companies they were <coughs> so just look at that screenshot you know look at all the companies they worked for from the year 2000 to the year 2022 they were putting in the work and and while they were doing this they were taking care of their families too anthony they were wrestling all over the world mm. traveling doing things cutting promos running yeah. around for you know the wife the kids making sure that the farm was taken care of doing farm work they were just doing everything they were doing everything and i'm so happy mick thomason that you love this channel i try to do uh my best to do a presentation like right now anthony i i i took the approach for this stream to make it like a book report that's how i looked at it. i said let me try to do like a book report on this guy and present like you know the facts and that's why i got all these screenshots here which i think is pretty yeah. cool that we can get a breakdown of all this guy's different stuff from like you know the matches he's had where he comes from his stats uh overall like you know title reigns how long they were uh how many titles did he win for what company and how many days i mean i put in the work on this and and i did that out of respect for jay briscoe because look at all the respect the wrestling world showing him and these are just some of the tweets i can't screenshot them all because there's probably hundreds of thousands of tweets from people all around the world because they all love this dude they all love this dude and it gives me more reason to go back and start watching their matches and that's why as soon as the stream ends i'm going to help anthony out for about five to ten minutes and then i'm going to start watching <coughs> lucha brothers versus the briscoe brothers and i'm going to have a good time tonight again this is the website this is the one and only official website i shared it earlier the link is in the bottom of the description you guys can go donate money the family's going to need your help and uh if you can give you should there's another picture of the family. A hell of a guy, man. Jamin Puck. <clears throat> Jay Briscoe. Gone too soon, 1984 to 2023. He will be severely missed. And uh, I, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Uh, Anthony, you have anything you want to add to this, man? You want to you hype anything up, talk about anything? Um, well... Back a little bit. I mean, I mean, we do have other stuff to talk about if you want. We could talk about the Rumble. Yeah, yeah let's. Yeah. You want to talk about the Rumble? Yes. Yeah. the Rumble. He loves the Rumble. I'll the Rumble's going to be good. <clears throat> if, uh, if you're all right, I'll join you for the play by play on Saturday. It's a possibility. Jay might be here at the crib. Oh. <clears throat> it's a possibility. Royal Rumble, there's going to be the screen for the Royal Rumble play-by-play -play that we'll be doing on Saturday. Uh, they're hinting that, you know, Brock Lesnar is going to be there. Uh, it doesn't look good for The Rock. Uh, but there was, there was a new t-shirt that got, like, leaked. And it looks like it's a Brahma Bull. Royal yeah. Rumble with a Brahma Bull. So I don't know. I don't know. How about you? Okay, you wanted to talk about the Rumble? Talk about it, goddamn! What do you <clears> want to <throat> talk about? Uh, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, this is kind of like the last shot that you have. If you're going to bring in Rock, you have tomorrow and Friday. Or nah, you know, I don't you think so. You, so you think Rock's <clears throat> coming tomorrow? He's the big surprise? Well, 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 what I'm saying is, like, you only have, like, two shots of doing it if they're saying if what they're saying is true that they're trying to get rock for for wrestlemania for roman mm. okay. but i mean i don't know i i honestly think you need to you know the eliminate look like cody needs to win it you need to have cody win this and then you have rock to let not, cody yeah, you have to let Cody win. That's my that's my opinion because you've been every that's been speculated. Like you, you can't have this man come back from from having a tear. Well, dude, he, he is he title. is in the middle of the picture here, man. I mean, so obviously right. the focus is going to be on him. But the question is, do we see him before the Rumble or do we just see him at the Rumble? What number does he come out? I think Cody's going to come out number one. I think he has to come out number one. Uh, for the legacy factor, but we'll see. I don't know, man. I would love them maybe tomorrow. What would be nice is if they went old school and they bring out the drum barrel and everybody picked a number. And then Cody shows up, he picks a number and he shows it. Number one, yeah. Because I mean, I mean, I mean, with just with the way you made with that flyer right there, that's already a spoiler. Yeah. I think they should have. I don't. I well, my, the, the reason they going? said the reason they said him is because listen, realistically, everybody knew Cody was coming back. There was no doubt about it. They were already hyping him up, showing yeah, video packages. You, they don't do that unless the guy's coming back for something. So, the reason but, they did that is because <clears throat> he has. And like, so let me explain before you go off on your rant. Okay. He has a lot of fans, Anthony. So Cody Rhodes being announced for the Royal Rumble guarantees a lot of buys for the Royal Rumble. Yeah, but you know what? But you also had the factor of the unknown, which was better. To me, I like the unknown factor. All right, Anthony. I know you like it better, but business-wise... Hold on, hold on. on. They don't care about you, though. That's the problem. No. Right, but here's here's the thing, though. You had, to me, you had the perfect opportunity to do that. You had the perfect shot because, yeah, have those videos have those vignettes or those segments with Cody talking about it. Instead of having him say, oh, I'm going to be back at the Rumble. He could have said, like, you could have, you could have had that cliffhanger and have having us wait. Or hell, even they could have done it tomorrow. Maybe, but like I said, they don't care. They they wanted that shit out there, obviously, because they wanted people to say, hey, Cody's going to be there. They're going to all talk about it, and they're going to order it to watch it. But here's the other thing, though. With If you would have even had him come back on on Raw tomorrow, on Raw tomorrow, that would have been like, oh, shit, wait a minute. He's coming back Saturday. I, <clears throat> at least that at least they could have done it like that it's a possibility it you never know what's going to happen with the WWE man they're, they're going to do what they want to do when they want to do it I think they have a lot of other surprises in store and maybe not even a lot maybe just one big one maybe they have a Jay White maybe they have The Rock you never know maybe they even have fucking CM Punk we have no, we have no idea nobody really knows anything anymore anybody could come back at any point it could be even a woman yeah. coming back. It could be Naomi coming back in the women's rumble. Maybe Sasha. We, we don't know. There's no guarantees to any of this stuff. People thought they were going to see nah, Sasha on AEW last week. You Sasha, don't know. Sasha, Sasha's got a contract with New Japan. She can't. Yeah, WWE can't. works with New Japan now. Or you didn't think about that. Oh, right. Because of Kushida. Uh huh. No, so Kushida, there's okay. a lot of possibilities. You don't know anything. Trust me. When I sit here and tell you that you don't know what the fuck they're gonna do, I'm not just saying it because I think it. I'm saying it because I know it. I know it in my heart. As a lifelong WWE fan, they don't give a shit about me either. Think they give a shit about me? They don't care about what I want and what I need. They care about what they think 
and the decisions they make in that little war room they have. And they pick their winners and they pick their losers and they make their stupid stories. And half of them are from writers in the back that don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. That's the problem, man. But hopefully that changes this year. Hopefully Royal Rumble is a a start to a a very entertaining storyline in the year to come. We're going to find out, though. But, yeah, you can join us here. Uh, Again, Alpha Noah is going to be here on Thursday night. That's going to be a lot of fun. AEW on Wednesday. There's a lot of bangers planned for this, man. Have you heard some of the lineups yet? Yeah. um, I saw some of them. I was like, holy shit. You got Darby Allen. Uh, I know you got Brian Danielson versus Brian Cage, and that's going to be a sick matchup that I definitely am oh, going to yeah. be watching. Obviously, Brian Danielson's going to win, but I think they're going to put on a banger, man. A banger. And yeah. uh, the, the match that's going to steal the show, though, are you ready for this? And it's probably going to be the main event again. Darby Allen's taking on Buddy Matthews. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 Jay, I think you're Ooh. wrong. I think Darby Allen versus Buddy Matt, and if maybe you're talking about Danielson versus Cage, I, I'm, I'm gonna look forward to that match, especially because I'm gonna meet, uh, Mr. Cage in a few weeks, uh, at the Wrestling Universe, and I'm looking forward to that, and uh, I'm gonna ask him actually about the whole situation where MJF slapped the shit out of him, and I'm gonna ask him if he has a response oh. for MJF. If he doesn't, I have one. But uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, and Darby versus Buddy Matthews is going to be. That is the main event match right there, though. Uh, that's that going to be a money event. match, man. Uh, we also have Britt Baker, Ruby Soho, and Tony Storm in a triple threat match. Weren't they on like the same team like a couple fucking weeks ago? Who? Tony Storm and Ruby. No, no, they've been going against each other. Ask who how he feels about being buried on national TV. Gianna, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Ravishing Ricky's in the house. He's talking about Brian Cage. Ask him how it feels to, again, buried on national television. Yeah, but maybe he's getting buried to get resurrected later on. And maybe. I don't know. I'm going to ask him something, too. Aren't you coming, Jay? Why don't you ask him that? We also have the uh, acclaimed and the guns having family ther- therapy. That, we have th- this is a show. terrible match. I'm not interested in this match. We have Jungle Hook versus Ethan Page and Matt Hardy on Wednesday. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my pillow for that match. Then. And yeah, I agree with you, Mick. Tomorrow on so, not tomorrow <clears> on, <throat> on Monday, I do agree. Well, actually, that is tomorrow. I'm out of it. I think I, I still think I'm on Saturday. I've been sick lately, so excuse me. I agree with Mick. Tomorrow, Judgment Day is going to take the Raw Championships off the Usos. <clears throat> Unless Edge comes back and screws them over. That's the only other. Yes, Jay, Matt Hardy is still wrestling, unfortunately. And uh, I'm not excited about Jungle Hook versus Ethan Page and Matt Hardy. I'm, I'm really not. Well, uh, has there been any update with Jeff? With who? Jeff Hardy? At all? No. No. That's so why I'm staying silent because I have nothing to say about Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Hardy. He'll be back and he'll be jumping off ladders again. Don't worry. In a couple of weeks. Maybe. We we'll also have Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara wow. versus Ricky Starks and Action Andrade. That stupid little orphan. Can't believe that stupid little orphan wants to talk trash to Jericho. Jericho's the Ocho. He's the best of all time. And I hope Sammy Guevara teaches these kids a lesson. Anthony. Hey. What? This is this is Jay right now? Yeah. Damn. He is not he wow, dude. He and he's a guest host dude. on this show, people. And, and and Jay, I think I, I think very highly of you. Now now I'm starting to lose respect for you, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anthony, don't lie. <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm, I'm going to play the tribute one more time. Uh, we all love Ricky. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow night with Monday Night Raw. 
Uh, you know, like I said, Wednesday's Dynamite, Tuesday's always NXT, where Jay's never missing a show. He'll be here every time for NXT. And and uh, go ahead, Anthony. Why don't you give us a preview of Monday Night Raw? What do you think we're going to see tomorrow on Monday Night Raw? Um. Well, obviously we have a bunch of legends coming back tomorrow night. You know, because you know thirty uh, thirty something years of Raw, which is deserved. Um, I would like to see Cody Rhodes. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off of what you said, Savage, about that. That would be I would love to see that. Him come in and just say, "I want this number," or like he does like that bingo thing. The old school shit, right? That. They they yeah. roll up the numbers and they draw, and you know he he really draws number one. Yeah, or thirty. Or 30. No, I, I'd rather him do number one. I want to see him wrestle. But you know what? It doesn't matter. As long as he's in the Rumble and as long as he wins it, I, well, cause he, I'll be happy thing. with it. I feel like if they keep him, if they have him at 30, if I'm, you know, just spec, speculating here and giving my opinion about it, I think it would, for me, I think it would be beneficial for him to be at 30 because you are giving him less of a chance to get injured again. You know, all right jay's obviously really good at promoting wrestling shows on youtube don't listen to him raw is probably going to be just fine and we'll be here tomorrow to cover it i want to give a quick shout out to this man that's my grovey and mike and me and chad i was at winter warfare it was a good time you know i picked up some hot sauce from david lagreca had a good time man i had a good time I had a good time. Those guys know how to have fun, man. Those guys know how to have a good time, have fun. Uh, but before we end this stream, I'm going to play that video one more time. The one that I made earlier, which was like a tribute to uh, to Briscoe. I, I really liked that video. I thought it came out really good. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope I see you guys all here tomorrow for Monday Night Raw. Anthony, uh, you have a good night. Stick around so we can talk after the show ends. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about some SmackDown. Yep. Friday night. The NWA. That Friday night, we in the ladder war, baby. The match that was made for us. Gorillas! Gorilla Club. Yeah. Hey, we came in to this decade with these, and we damn sure plan on leaving this decade with these. Remix. There you go, Mick. You happy? I shared it, all right? You wanted me to share it? I said, I hope you see my picture. Not only do we see your picture, it's on the damn stream right there. There's him with Rosemary having a great time. We love Mick Thomason. Uh, he just sent me that picture. And uh, I'm going to get back to that video, though. Mick, uh, just, I wanted to stop the video to show you my appreciation for you. We love the fact that you're here all the time watching us at Wrestling with Savage. And we will continue to try to bring good content for you to watch, buddy. Let's get back to this video for a couple of seconds. We gonna whoop each other's ass on the floor, oh. and now they until we start back at the bottom, working our way to the top. There's rules to this shit. 
I won't be a man. I left him here, guys. I'm sorry, Anthony. I'm sorry I did that to you. <laughs> you stick around. Everybody have a good night. We'll see you here next time. Or I don't know. Maybe we stick around. We, you want to talk about what you need to do live? No, that's boring. Yeah. yeah. We could. It's not hard. Are you on your computer or on your phone right now? Uh, my phone right now. All right. Go to your computer. All right. <clears throat> with your phone. Bring what? the phone with you. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. You know what? We want to go with you on this tour. Take, give us a tour of the home, man. Show us the computer. This is Anthony. Go, loves yeah. wrestling. He's going to be going live on Friday and hosting SmackDown and Mick Thomason. You better be there to show him support. And you too, Jay. You better jump in there, show him some support. Make sure you subscribe. I can't turn it around. <laughs> I don't, oh, you don't, we don't care. We don't have to see it, man. Just sit down and get in front of the fucking computer, man. Go to, go to, go to StreamYard.com. All right. Uh, let me just... You're going to have to oh. learn how to do all this stuff. Daniel Pinson's in the house. What's going on, Daniel? That's yeah, probably better we do this all <laughs> offline. This is going to be really boring content here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove Anthony. He's going to hang out in the background. I'm going to help him set up his stream for Friday night so that he has the ability to not only go live Friday night, but any night that he wants to. Uh, but for now, I think he's going to stick to Fridays. And uh, we'll see how he does. And uh, Jay, very funny. Uh, the leg Garka lean should include a leg drop. All right, that's the savage lean, the savage leg drop, one that you've taken and you will take again. All right, so shut your ass up, Jabroni, before I uh, have to power bomb you sooner than later. But yes, uh, again, rest in peace to the Briscoes. I hope you enjoyed the Briscoe tribute show. Uh, again, I'll show it one more time. There's only one official website that you can go and donate. They've raised over 280000 I'm sure they're going to raise more. If you can, help them out. You can pick up their merch. They have a lot of T-shirts all over the place. And like I said, quick synapses. Uh, if you guys missed the stream, man, hell of a stream. All right? In memory of Jameen Pug, great man, great husband, great father, great brother, great son. There's a picture of his beautiful family. His uh, kids are on their way to recovery from what I've heard. So I'm so happy to hear that the prayers have worked and it's just great to see. Again, there's only one official site that you can donate at and nothing but nice things to say about him. You know, Look at all the promotions he worked for. You can read his career data, go back in the stream, check it out, his stats, uh, all the different title reigns he's had, all the different championships he's won, including 13 time ring of honor. Guy was a beast, man. Absolute beast. But we're out of here, man. We're out of here. I'm gone. I'll see you. With Mr. Kennedy. And he has a lot to say to everyone out there watching. He's going to be on Wrestling with Savage. Stop yelling so much. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? I'm excited for you. You're watching this. This is Mr. Kennedy taking a chop from Savage. He just gave me a nice stiff one. Nice stiff one. Oh. Salve. Oh, appreciate you, bro. You're watching Wrestling with Savage, the best late night wrestling show in the world. <laughs> I say you are listening to Wrestling with Savage, the best podcast <laughs> in the history of podcasts. Ted Green, one, two, three, punch, and you live at the gym. A last ride straight to hell, a tombstone, a choke slam. Here to give it to you raw. This is Wrestling with Savage, SmackDown. Hold the title, this is Wrestling with Savage, raw. Because they are the best tag team in the world. Tag team. Be my honor to be a guest on your show. Christmas Bully Ray, good job, Savage. It's the best town in pro wrestling. Get that fucking raw man, yeah. Raw fuck. It's MDK and wrestle with Savage all fucking day. Oh, okay. You got over here. Well, what do we got over here? Have your cake and eat it too. Look at any. 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 Look at any.